guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do an unboxing and a review of my order from Brandless. What really attracted me to them is that all of their products are cruelty free, organic, non-GMO, and fair trade, which is really important to me, especially this year as I explore trying to be a more sustainable consumer. So I found Brandless through a targeted Instagram ad and ironically enough, what attracted me to them was actually their branding. It's like super minimalistic and the whole philosophy behind their company is that they take away the like name brand tax that you pay. So everything in their online store is $3. It's basically a line of like food and home and personal care products. So I'll start with my ordering experience. Their online store is super easy to use. I placed this order on Tuesday and it is now Saturday and this showed up on my doorstep. I got about 20 items and I kind of tried to get something from all the different categories so you guys could see all of it and I'm basically just gonna be checking for size quality and then I got a couple skincare products so I'm gonna try to see how the formulations feel shipping is five dollars but since it was my first order it was one dollar shipping which is insane and even five dollars really isn't that bad for like a grocery order so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so excited so this is what the box looks like when you immediately open it up and there's this cute little note that says, woohoo, you've gone brandless, open me up. And it's a little envelope, oh cute. And there's a little postcard that's like Mad Libs for brandless, that's cute. And then my little, my little order card. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. That was dramatic. This is a lot of paper that I'm gonna need to recycle. Okay, I'm gonna put this big box on the floor now because it's ridiculous. All right, so I'll start with some of the food stuff that I bought. I bought this box of English breakfast tea because when we were in London on our way back from our honeymoon, we met up with my friend Beck, who is from England slash New Zealand. It's complicated. Um, and she told us that we needed to have real proper English tea. So I got some of this. It has 20 tea bags in it, which I feel like is really good for three bucks. And the packaging is so cute. Also in the vein of drinks, I got this coffee cold brew tea bag. Um, and from what I understand, um, you just kind of put it in a pitcher for 24 hours in your fridge. Um, and then you get, how many servings? Six servings of cold brew coffee, which is awesome. It is organic, fair trade, farmed in Peru, 100% Arabica? Arabica? I don't know what that means. It's probably a kind of coffee bean. I'm not too fancy. I just want cold brew coffee. I have been craving cold brew coffee lately. So I'm so excited to be able to make it at home and not have to go to Starbucks and pay $4. The next thing that I got are these regular absorbency tampons. Um, and the reason that I got these is because they're organic cotton. This is 10 tampons for $3, which is a little bit more expensive than I would like for tampons but for the fact that I'm getting organic cotton and it's better for me and better for the environment because I'm not using pesticides to create it I will take it going back to food after talking about my vagina <laughs> I also got these applesauce pouches and I was definitely inspired to get these by Ingrid Nielsen because she's always eating like the baby applesauce pouches and they look really good and really convenient so this is four pouches they are each 3.2 ounces and I'm gonna open them up. Also, I hope my new microphone is working because I got a Rode mic, so hopefully my sound is better quality. Yeah, so it's just a little packet of applesauce and it has like the little top, like the little chia squeezes do. And it seems to be like a really good size and it's 60 calories and I love applesauce. I also got a jar of creamy peanut butter, which seems to have separated a little bit, but I think that's pretty normal with organic peanut butter, which this is organic. And this is, you know, a, a medium sized jar, but for $3, like peanut butter is expensive, especially if you go organic. So I'm really happy with this. Mmm. It tastes really good too. Okay, that's a win. And then this is, I guess, their number one best-selling product, and I just ran out of my coconut oil. So I got this virgin coconut oil. It is organic, unrefined, cold-pressed, and brandless, like everything else. This is a really good sized jar of coconut oil for $3. I don't know anywhere else where you can get a jar of coconut oil for $3. This is great, like not only for cooking, I use it all the time when I cook, especially with kale, so good. But also for like making scrubs, um, you can use it on your cuticles, it's good for your hair. Coconut oil is a miracle worker, if you haven't uh, figured that out yet. So yeah, 10 ounces of coconut oil for three bucks. 
Another item that I was really impressed with the price for was these cashews. Cashews are expensive and they also have pistachios, which I'm really sad that I didn't get and I should have. But for this whole bag of cashews, which is five ounces, which is kind of a lot of cashews, three bucks. And they are non-GMO, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. So they're just roasted and salted cashews. They're yummy to snack on. Don't really know what else to say about that. Stoked on the price. I also got two packets of taco seasoning for $3 um, because we always need taco seasoning. We actually made tacos last night. So I wish this had come a day earlier, but their shipping was really fast, so no complaints. Organic taco seasoning, who knew? In that same vein, we also got garlic salt because we got a spice rack for our wedding. Um, and so I like cleared out a bunch of my spices when I got the notification that somebody had bought it for us, assuming that it would have garlic salt in it, and then it didn't. So, set on garlic salt now. My entire order, including shipping, was like $65, I think, and like I'm not even halfway through the stuff yet. Like that's just the food. So some other kitchen products. This is another one of the reasons that I decided to place the order because one of my resolutions for the new year was to create less trash um, and specifically less trash that is really difficult to decompose like plastic and you know, the like. So I got these napkins. Ironically, they are wrapped in plastic. So I'm not entirely positive. I thought that all the way through, but they are uh, tree free napkins. So they're a bio based napkin and they're made from sugar cane and bamboo grass. So they have no dyes or fragrances and supposedly they are better for the environment because they don't use any trees to make them and they also are supposed to decompose faster. So this was 150 napkins and this was one of the items that was two for three dollars. Um, I only got one because I wanted to try them out. So this was a dollar fifty. So like one cent per napkin. Another thing that I was out of was wax paper. So I got this wax paper. It is 75 square feet. So pretty good for three dollars. 100% virgin wood pulp made with paraffin wax, grease proof, waterproof, heat resistant. Um, and I just think that this is really cool. I feel like I say that for every item, but to be able to get products like this that are made with superior ingredients and don't harm the environment as much for this cheap is like just absolutely incredible. That's kind of what I want this channel to be in the next year is figuring out how to live a little bit more sustainably and still live an affordable lifestyle and save money. So I feel like this brandless order is just like a huge win. <laughs> Also for my kitchen, I got a two pack of dishcloths. Hmm, these don't feel like the most absorbent, but definitely more than like a tea towel. I feel like these would be good for drying dishes. Actually, what I bought them for was removing face masks. So I'm, I'm happy with these. They're definitely higher quality than I would expect them to be for $3, even though they're not like the thickest thing in the world. This is how big it is. And I also just really like the super simple pattern. I just think it's really cute and classic. Okay, hang in with me. We've got seven more items. So I got this foaming hand soap for the kitchen as well. It is eucalyptus and lavender scented. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's 8.4 ounces, but it's like foaming. So it goes a little bit further, I feel like, cause you're like pumping the air into it. This doesn't have any like special, like blank free. Um, it just says soothing lavender and brandless, but it smells really, really good. Okay, last things for the kitchen. And the things that I think I'm most excited to unwrap, cause they look really pretty, are these acacia. <gasps> oh my gosh. How pretty is this? Babe, come on. It's like Christmas morning in here. I'm obsessed. Look at how pretty oh. these are. They're real acacia and then the bottom is like copper. Those are nice. They're so cute. <laughs> I love you. I love you. These were $3 each. So I got a wooden spoon, a slotted wooden spoon, and a turner. These are gonna look so cute in my little marble utensil holder because I'm bougie ass. These are so nice. This is my favorite thing so far, hands down. I also got a pair of tongs because Matt always says that we don't have like tongs that are the right size. Oh, that's how that works. Ooh. Um, and I thought these were like the perfect in between between like our big grilling ones and then the like little teeny ones that aren't quite big enough to hold anything. These are really nice. They're just like silicone. Baby, I got you new tongs. Good for you. Yes. Oh, I also got you something else. Do you want to come and do you want to come and look? So. Matt doesn't use moisturizer and then doesn't understand why his face gets oily. Okay, that's not true. Sometimes he steals my moisturizer. So I got you 
this facial cleanser, which is grapefruit. It says antioxidizing fruit extract, sulfate free, no flailates, and no animal testing. And then gotta, moisturizer. Gotta protect the buns. And this is also cruelty free. So for three dollars, I got my hubby his own what moisturizer. Is this face yeah, it is a little bashed in. I think you'll like that. It's um, it's a little bit heavier than mine, but it's really lightweight. Yeah. So face wash moisturizer, six bucks for both. Thank you. You're welcome, I love you. And the very last item I got, I don't actually even have a use for this, I just thought it was cute, is this notebook. It's like hardcover and it's just like brown paper. And it has like a little label and one of those strings. 80 pages. Um, I feel like this could be really good for planning out video ideas when my like blank pages section in my passion planner is all filled up. Um, but it's got one of these guys so you can like keep it open and closed and then it's just like lined paper inside. I think it's really funny that it's just like the blank box and then it says TM because it's like the same blank white box that they use on their logo. <laughs> So yeah, I give Brandless like a huge freaking thumbs up. This stuff is amazing and so good for the environment and so cheap. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of my shopping here from now on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it and geeking out over all the stuff. I'm such an adult now. I like get like wooden spoons and I'm like, ooh. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Remember, I post videos every Monday and Friday. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys all with my next video. Bye.